My name's Joe Harling, I work for Ellie Golding Mixing Front of House. We're at a festival called Rock Verkta in Belgium. Doing festivals, you just sort of don't get to, to sound check or line check through the PA normally, so you just sort of load your last show and, and go. And my immediate impression in the first like 10, 15 seconds was like, there's a lot of low power, but I was kind of expecting that knowing Anderson. I don't mean from the subs, I mean from the actual left, right. A lot of the kind of bass guitar range, 100 hertz, that kind of area, which I actually really like. And I think it's kind of kind of brave of Adamson to leave that in. A lot of PAs nowadays are like really sub and then top end and then, but I, I like the musical warmth of this. It sounds natural, it sounds the way music should sound, if you know what I mean. It doesn't sound like it's built to sound impressive, it sound, it's built to be musical and to be malleable. But Ellie sings really quietly and we have a lot of gain on the vocal mic, so there's a lot of spill. And actually today the PA was quite far up stage, which is often a challenge if she goes in front of it, but it was very stable today, responded well to EQ. In fact, I think I had to EQ the vocal less, a little bit less than normal. Maybe that was just because I didn't have sound check time to, to fuck about with them. The things that excite me about music are like vinyl or valve compressors or stuff, and it kind of, to me, like, yeah, it has the same qualities as that. It's not hyped. There's only three or four things that I really like using, and y axis was one of those, and, and this definitely would be the natural progression for that. Enjoy is kind of a big uh, amusement park for adults. It's an open air place. It's open from five to midnight. So it's not a club, it's not a discotheque. It's something really totally different. It's, it's more like a, a concert venue. We have the seven biggest DJs of the world from Monday to Sunday, and they all have a residency. Uh, Monday it's Guetta, for example, Tuesday Hardwell, uh, Sebenax, Armin van Buren, Martin Garrix, uh, Avicii. We also produce Hans, the production company who, who is doing all the show for Ushuaia is called Ice Cream. Uh, we base in London, we have one office in London, one in Paris and, and one in Ibiza. And I mean, we, we work all around the world. We do a show in Miami, we have a residence in Vegas. And the idea of Ushuaia is uh, a mix between a huge production every day and the biggest artist of the world. This group provides uh, sound, lighting and a bit of trussing in Ushuaia Beach Hotel but also in the Ushuaia Tower which is next there and also in Hard Rock Hotel. It's the third year that we're using Adamson system here. Well, at the beginning we had to fly the system from the, on the roof itself which is really limited. This year we introduced a new tower system uh, which gets the, the roof completely independent uh, from the sound system. The main challenge here is, is to stand the whole summer with more than 120 shows in a row. Uh, we are close from the sea, we have strong, strong winds sometimes, we have salty water in the air. We have to work with really strong boxes that can bear mostly any outdoor weather. We cover the speakers yeah. because they stay outside all the summer. And I think after six months with all the salt and everything, and also because we do a lot of pyrotechnic. <laughs> you can enjoy what you see if you can enjoy, enjoy what you hear. And I mean, with Adamson, I was like really happy to see. I remember when we did the first demo, we do all together the light, the video and the sound. And I was like, wow. Because the full experience was perfect and that it was because the sound was, was amazing. It's probably the closest PA I've heard to hi-fi that I've ever heard. On the PAs and halfway through already you can hear so much distortion. It's very round and tight and punchy. It's very, very good. Ushuaia is a really long venue, so you can work wherever you want and you have a perfect sound. And that's really cool. And it's not too loud, but you have a good pressure so you can you enjoy the depth. It's, it's something, yeah, it's, it's really another level and the fact that we can really control the sound, have the sound exactly where we want, full all the venue with the sound and don't have sound to go all over the place outside the venue, that's that for us something amazing. I'm kind of a, 
of a chef. You can have the best design ever. If you have crap light and a bad sound, it don't work. So my job is to mix everything together and, and, uh, and for sure work with the best people uh, in all the different things we, we need to, to create this kind of production. I trust people. For example, I, I, I used to do, I still do a lot of big aerial show. For example, today for Geta, I'm going to fly a girl with 500 balloons full of helium. She goes, she's going to fly over the crowd. I mean, when the guy comes with his balloon and with his helium, I trust him. I do exactly the same with, with SLS. I really trust them and I think it's a mutual trust. So every year we try to, uh, to, to bring more things, to, to have new ideas. And uh, what I love with SLS is like, each time you call them some, for something new, just like, okay, let, let's go, let's, just, let's do it. And uh, first thing, they come with a lot of ID. They do a lot of more than what you ask. And, uh, and it's super professional. So from the second year of Ushuaia, we, we, we start to work with them and, uh, and we were never disappointed. I mean, it's, it's a really good collaboration. My name is Cesar Villar, and I am the CEO of C. Villar Limitada. It's a family company. We run the, the business with uh, the older sons, Leonardo and Mauricio. We're from Bogota, Colombia. We came to Ecuador to do the event for the Pope. I'm half a studio engineer and then half a live sound engineer, so Nowadays, I'm lucky to, you know, to, I do records, I do live re DVDs, I do these type of things with big acts or, you know, our corporate stuff. I have a very broad range of work. I guess my biggest influence is my dad. He's a pioneer in the industry and, you know, whenever I go to the U.S. or anything, it, I get always the same question, like, how's your dad, how's everything going? And, you know, we keep growing and getting better and better every day. We've become the standard in our country, so the producers, the artists, the promoters, they all trust us because of our experience close to 30 years. In Colombia, we've had Sting, Paul McCartney, One Direction, Justin Bieber, Santana, Carlos Vivas, Shakira, Metallica, Coldplay, very big shows. Uh, after every act we do, you know, people leave the show with very great results, so people are happy with us. This is a very religious country as well as Colombia, so there's many followers. There's gonna be many, many people. Uh, they say approximately between one million and two million people. We wanted the like smaller size PA, but still great definition. So we chose for uh, the new Eston, so we could have a, a control uh, SPL, and then we we were looking for something more powerful on the outside, so we can push the system harder, which we achieved very well. We wanted the system to be as clean and everything with the same uh, character. This being the first time we've been using the system. And I'm really impressed. The low end of the system is so surprising. And comparing to the box size, we were expecting a lot, a lot less from the low end behavior. Right next to the s 10 s main PA, we have uh, both E15 and E12. And then on the very far, we have white tents. The E15 has great distribution and great SPL, great uh, intelligibility, which is a main fact here that we're looking after so that's what we chose the 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 e15 on the center this is approximately 800 meters by 600 so everything is a challenge here we ended up with uh, 24 delay towers 140 meter apart the last one was like 600 meter apart from the main pa this was a, a tough job to achieve because in, in the beginning, it was just a speech for the Pope. But then, uh, you know, later after we signed the contract to do this job, uh, we were told that there were gonna be bands and choirs and everything. So 
we needed some more extra frequencies such as the low end but you know with the Adamson system it, it, this is no problem because you know it, it performs very well with on the low frequencies. We're using a Spectrix Cyphil which to me is the perfect Cyphil. There's going to be uh, around 100, 200 people on stage including the Pope himself so we needed some like a very even coverage so we chose to do like four and four Spectrix per side. We started all this process about a month ago. We received a call on Sunday, it was 1 a.m. Somebody from here called, say, you guys are able to design this? We said, yeah, sure. Okay, we need the design in one hour. So it was 1 a.m. in the morning. I texted Brian, hey, Brian, I'm sorry to text you at 1 a.m. or something. Can you give us a help with this? Sure, let's do this, let's do that. You know, and in the end, it worked very, very well. Even though we've been users for Adamson for more than 10 years, Whenever we get a, a big project, uh, I usually call Factory and uh, I get help from Factory. He flew all the way from Milwaukee to Ecuador to, you know, to help and support the, this act and, you know, it's been great. And, you know, uh, everything was designed with, the, with this new software from Adamson, the Blueprint. It was, everything's 3D and the end result is very, very close to, to the actual, you know, what, to what's going on here. We decided just to have a, our main platform based on Energy SC15, and we are happy about that because it's the, the most powerful system on the, on the world that I've seen happily. I can say that's not a blind point, no. I've heard the systems, and I think there are so many good products on the market today, but I think that the energy, uh, does really very, very, very good work. I think the E15 is pretty much the best line array I've ever used. The SPL is amazing, the clarity, the punch, the horizontal coverage is amazing, the vertical coverage is amazing. The consistency, I'm look, you know, when, whenever I'm doing a show, I, I look for consistency. So I want to sound the same 30 meters away from the stage, 50 meters, 100 meters. So that system gives me that consistency. We have great coverage overall, and uh, it's impressive how every Adamson box is just throwing sound where it's supposed to do it. And even more, you know, when you're doing a 3D design, you expect sound maybe to cover at 100 or 120 or something, but then you go 130 or 150, and then you still get sound. So that impresses me that the system even outperforms what you're expecting.